What's up guys, my name is Mindglowing and today we're gonna go over my most used shortcuts in Blender. Blender has a lot of shortcuts and most people make use of them to increase their productivity. With this video I would like to help you guys out to follow my and other people's videos even easier by explaining which shortcuts are most used. There are a ton more out there that I won't talk about, these are just the ones I use most. All of these shortcuts are going to be listed on my website with a short explanation of what they do. They will also each include a link to the timestamp of this video in case you forgot what they do and want some visual help, so stay tuned. You can find all of the keys that I'm pressing right here. So if you can follow along uh, or you didn't understand the key I am uh, pronouncing then you can find them here so right now I'm pressing F a few times now I'm pressing G A so that's how it works the middle mouse button we can use to rotate or camera when we use shift plus middle mouse button we can move or camera and control with middle mouse button is to zoom in and out. If we have the G uh, key for grab and what it does is we move or cube by pressing G. Uh, instead of the move tool that you can find right here where you have to uh, click and drag one of these arrows. So let's not do that. Let's use all shortcuts and if we want to go along the X axis after we press G we press on the X or the Y direction or the Z direction. Next is the S for scale which scales the object instead of this tool, um, this tool, the scale where you have to again have to use the arrows click and drag so that takes a lot of time. So instead we use S and then we can use our directions again, the Y, X or Z. Then similar we have the rotate tool, so R for rotate. And again we can use the axis, the, the X, the Y and the Z. And that is instead of this tool where you have again click and drag. If we want more fine control with our grab, scale or rotate tool, what we can do is hold shift. So when we press G, for example, and then X, as you can see, it goes pretty fast. But if we want more control, we can use shift. And as you can see, it moves much slower for more control. Now another tip is when you want to move, scale or rotate your object more precisely with the shortcuts instead of using these uh, transform boxes what we can do is press for example we want to move, rotate this object 45 degrees in the Z axis so first we press R then Z for the Z axis and then 45 on the numpad and as you can see here, the value changed from 0 to 45. If we want to reset these values, for example, here we have a rotation of 90 degrees and 45. Uh, we can press Alt and R for the rotation. So it goes, these values reset to 0. To go into edit mode, we press the tab button. And to leave the edit mode, we press tab again. To get more options, because here you can see there are more options, what we can do is press Control tab and then we get this menu where we can uh, change to weight paint or whatever. Say we want to add another object, what we can do instead of pressing on this menu here, we can press Shift A and add another cube for example. There we go. To look at the front, we can use our numpad and number one. To go to the side view, we can press number three on the numpad. And then the top view is number seven. And number nine is flips, is to flip it. So right now we're in the top view. If we press nine, we go to the view from under. If we are at the front view and press nine, we go to the backside. 
and when we press 3, which is the right side, and press on the numpad 9 again, then we go to the left side view. An optional tip is the other numbers on the numpad. For example, we press, we go to the front view and then we press number 8, which goes in increments. Um, we're, now we're pressing number 2, it's like a sort of arrow box. I'm not using this uh, very often, but it's an optional tip. We can focus on our object to use when we click on the dot on the numpad. So say for example, the object isn't in our sight and we want to uh, focus on the object, we press dot on the keyboard and we focus right there on the object all zoomed in. If we have a bunch of objects in our scene and we want to see, for example, the this part of the ear of the monkey, uh, what we can do is press the slash key on the numpad to focus on this object alone and hide everything else temporary. And when we click that, uh, the slash key on the numpad again, it brings everything back. If we want to hide one of our objects, for example, this cylinder, we can press H for hide. And what this does is, as you can see here, the eye is shut. So we can press here or press H for hide. And when we want to bring it back in, we can press Alt H to unhide everything. When we want to uh, use snapping, there are two options. Say we want to move this cube um right here it can we can use the x and then the control key and we need to hold the control key or what we can do is press shift tab and this will enable this snapping and then when we go to g4 grab then x on the x axis we have the same result but we don't have to hold anything here are a, a, a few options. Here we can use the increment, vertex, edge, and so on. If we want to create one object out of these two separate objects, what we can do is press shift, uh, hold shift, press click on the other cube, and then control J for join, instead of right clicking and finding or join here. If we want to parent one object to another, say we want when we move this icosphere we want the other cube to move along what we can do is press on the cube then on the icosphere and then on control p for parent and then set it to the object so now when we move the icosphere the the um, cube is going to move along same with scaling and rotating you can also access this by using right click and then parent to object if we want to move our cursor to our object what we can do is press shift s for the snapping menu and then cursor to select it if we want to bring it back we can uh, press shift s and cursor to world origin when we want to delete this cube we can press x on the keyboard and delete click delete or we can just press the delete button but i find x more um, close by since our left hand is on the keyboard most of the time if we want to go from our solid view to our shading view, what we can do is hold the Z button and then we get this menu and we can go to rendered view. And what changed here is we went from this button to this button. If we want to move this cylinder, for example, to another collection than these two, what we can do is press M on the keyboard and press new collection, give it a name and press enter. This is instead of right clicking and then moving to collection here, which give the same menu. When we want to open or close or right sidebar, we can press N on the keyboard. Then we get all our add-ons here or the view and when we press it again, it closes, it hides. Same for the left sidebar, we can press T 
to hide it or bring it back and it's pressing the arrow it's instead of pressing the on the arrow buttons here which can be very small to select all of our objects in our scene we can press a on the keyboard for select all instead of here select and then all when we want to give our object a subdivision surface we can press Control and then 1, 2 or 3, uh, which is not on the numpad this time. So let's say what, uh, Control plus 2, then we get a subdivision surface of 2 here, which is a modifier. So it, you can do this if you forgot the key combination, we can go to Add Modifier, Subdivision Surface and then change this from 1 to 2. When we have a camera object in our scene, let's add one because we deleted it. So for example, this one, when we press zero on the numpad, we can see what the camera sees, but this is way too into the uh, cube right here. So if we want to use uh, our camera to our viewport, what we can do is press Control, Alt and zero on the numpad and we have our camera to our object here. When we want to render an image from this, we can press F12 and it will render an image of our camera object. Let's say we have an animation of this cube and we want to render out our animation, we can press Ctrl F12. When we rendered our image, we can save it and instead of going to image save as, we can press alt shift s and then save it wherever you want. To save our blend file, it's control shift s. When we go into edit mode by pressing tab, as explained before, we can switch between these three, which is vertex select edge select and face select right now we are in vertex select which uh, will only be able to uh, select these vertices the edge select is to select all edges and the face select is to select all faces so how do we do that on the keyboard we press one two and three uh, not on the numpad when in edit mode when we want to extrude something we can press E we're pressing E to extrude we can also extrude vertices and edges and again we can combine this with uh, X Y and Z. Now let's say we have two vertices here and we want to connect these we can press F for fill. When we go back into edge mode, uh, edge selection right here, uh, number two on the keyboard, we can press Alt and then click on the edge here and it will select all the, the loops right here and what we can do right now is press F to fill the face. When we want to create a loop cut, we can press Ctrl R and there we go, we created a loop cut and when we want it perfectly in the middle, we just press Escape. So again, when we want to uh, select this, we go to Edge, Edge Selection and then we press Alt, we keep pressing Alt on the keyboard and then click on the edge to select the entire loop cut right here. We can do the same when we go to our uh, face selection and we hold Alt and click on the faces to select a loop of all faces. If we have two separate objects and we join them with Control J, it's one object. Um, but how do we select this object or this object? So we can press L on the keyboard uh, and when we press L on the other one, we will select that one as well. We don't have to hold shift. Uh, if you click near it again, it will deselect all of them. So L 
to select your objects in edit mode. When we want to use proportional editing, which is this button here, we can press O on the keyboard. And when we go into edit mode, and for example, we press one to get into our vertex selection and select this one. What we can do is let's move this by pressing G. And first of all, it needs to be enabled. So press O and then we press G. And we have this circle here. This is all proportion proportional editing. We can use the mouse wheel to make it bigger or smaller. When we extrude this um, cube, for example, we use a few extrusions and then we want to move this back into our cube, into along the normal, what we can do is press G twice. So I press G twice and as you can see, it moves along the normal. When all of these objects are one object, we and for example when we go to our rendered view and we can see these two are purple and that one is red or orange we can go to edit mode and we want to select these two uh, the purple ones we can press uh, shift we first we press on uh, one of these faces or vertices then we press shift g for select similar and we can press here on material and it will select all of the faces that have the same material hey thank you for watching i hope you learned some new shortcuts today make sure you bookmark the blender shortcuts page on my website until you remember all of them keep on creating and keep boosting your productivity i hope to see you in the next video